Hello and welcome everyone. This is Priyanka and I'm back again under the influencer segment of OCLF. Now, uh, among the every uh, list of influencers that we made, niche specific, people speci specific, and then there were certain that we really wanted to call, there was one name we were super obsessed with. Not only in terms of content, <laughs> in terms of his name, the account name that goes by the name Dapperdi. Dap 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 and then for four days, we were like Dapperdi, 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 Dapperdi. <laughs> Kind of and then we just went through your page and we sort of felt that there is a lot more to know from you because we understand your content but we wanted to know the person behind. Okay. So it's a pleasure to have you with us here Raj. Most Thank people you. don't know your name either. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Okay. So let me just begin with the most common one because uh, that was something that everybody wanted to know. Tell us something about who you are as a person. That's the toughest question first <laughs> of all as a person. See, I'm a very simple guy, see, mm -hmm. like all of us doing our own work. Mm -hmm. I go to office, when I get time, I shoot mm -hmm. and whatever content I make at the end of the day, I just, you know, post it. That's it. It's, That's it's it. as simple as that. It's, it's not simple as that. I've seen your content and coming back to it. So you have office. Yeah. So you're working as? I'm a senior development officer and currently I'm working under Ministry of Finance, Okay. Government of India. Government of so India, he's a government official. Okay. And a very aesthetic <laughs> one at that. So now coming back to the content, like I have seen Raj and his content specifically at every premium place. So if it's a brand, premium brand, or if it's a premium event happening in the city, I look forward to your account because there's a nicer way you will put those things into. So how do you make that happen? Like we were speaking before the video as well. How do you make things look so effortlessly charming? See, I, to be very honest, I don't plan anything. Uh -huh. So like whenever you're going somewhere, you take your phone out, you take pictures, you take videos. Mm -hmm. So I do the same thing. There's nothing special like, yes, I'm planning, I'm doing this, that. Somehow I've been lucky that when I put together, it works. I'm being very honest. When I put together, it works. It works. Because we'll see those things separately. I, I don't think there is so much to it. Okay. So maybe perhaps the end part where it's put together it works and <laughs> it works. that's what and i try to take human emotions mostly i try to catch them because Actually. i would not shoot a you know static object i would always go for some movements you know. uh -huh. so, so the movement is the are, only key yeah that's the only key like. <laughs> okay and i personally uh, have been speaking to a lot of people who know you and every time i get a feedback that he's a really dedicated person when it comes to his work and at the same time he has a very eye for detail Achha, so they thank, people. <laughs> thank people <laughs> so you're fun as a person you're also professional as a person so define yourself in say three adjectives Bob, three okay <laughs> i'm uh, first of all i would say that i'm very much on time so Absolutely. what happens when you're on time and people are not on time you get you know empty spaces to shoot so this is the first thing i'll give second i think yeah, I, I like to you know finish things quickly like mm -hmm. you know i don't like to put up you know to a later time like mm -hmm. i do it because there are so many things to take care of that if you postpone it then you miss it you can't absolutely yeah and third objective would be a very, very, very simple ah. that's the only thing i'll say because there's nothing to me like yeah, in fact, I personally experienced this when we were sp speaking. You're quite a modest person for the kind of work you do. See, that people has to say that I'm modest <laughs> or not. I just... Uh, <laughs> so you don't actively work for it. It just happens. Yeah. Like that should be tagline for Raj that it just works for him. So apart from this, I also want to understand what made you inclined towards content. Like you're doing fine with your job. Hmm. You might as well... It doesn't even contribute to your major source of income or your any other motive to do it it's just that probably you find fun in it or you enjoy doing it what what so is there's it so many things are like when you start making content you start just as a simple person like mm -hmm. you're shooting you're sharing mm -hmm. and then people when they start liking it they'll give you that instant gratification that you know you're doing it good you should do it more yeah. and then sometimes you start taking yourself seriously <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, okay, I should do this. Uh -huh. So it's for me, it started like that. And you know, then brands pick you up and then you get that exposure. Mm -hmm. And then you start acting professionally because I don't know that. And then it happens. It just happens over the time because see, this, this, I would say that you can't just do it within a day or a month or something because 
people are very restless nowadays actually so you just have to they just focus on followers following i always say they just focus on the posts uh-huh. make 2000 posts make 3000 posts why you after followers follow because when you do 3000 posts something will go viral and you'll just pick it up yeah So forget about all those things. Just post, just post. Keep on making content. Oh God, I forgot my trailer question. It's so good at speaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, that makes sense. So again, coming back to when you say that you have to do it with thought, with art, and not just for the sake of it. What has been the kindest compliment you've received till date? Like there must be quite a few, and to pick one is a tough task. But kindest compliment to you. Uh, I think someone once told me that. I didn't even know when you shoot everything. <laughs> like, you were there with me. Uh-huh. I don't even know when you shot all this. Like I was like, "Acha, like, <laughs> so like, it's good to be invisible." Yeah, and you're actually effortless with it. I mean, uh, even yes, there was this event we were speaking about, and he tries elements, and then there is. I even went home for lunch. Then someone called me. I was about to end. For a person who is <laughs> challenged when it comes to recording stuff, this person is giving me high inferiority compliment. No, nothing as such. <laughs> okay, so okay, we are done with the kindest compliment. But at the same time, since you are a creator as well, hmm. you're open to public opinion. Like yeah, you are yeah. open to their uh, comments, and like you've also mentioned before, that people are quite opinionated. Very much. So, is there any? Of course, there must be some negative side to it. So, how do you deal with negative comments if there are any, or any feedback which doesn't necessarily help you improve, but is just out of the fact that people don't like your content? Make them laugh. <laughs> like sometimes someone would, you know, write some very bad stuff, and then I'll be like, I think your mom is watching you. She's there. <laughs> I think you should sleep now. It's too late. And they'll, after a while, they'll start laughing with me and. Oh wow! So, I want a classy way to get. I, I would try to make a follower out of it instead of hate. Like, so you just make fun of it. You can't be serious online, yeah. True. You can't, yeah, you can't be like. Then you're dog. You're gone. Then. Your personality. Now I now I understand why your content has a personality because okay. it translates from you. Okay. Like you would do this with a person in real life as well, like yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> very different perspective to content creation. To be very honest, okay. Apart from that, uh, three things that make you extremely happy. First of all, this all is reminding me of my school days. <laughs> three things, five things, <laughs> two things. Okay, okay. Let's okay, make them forget. three only. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I forgot the question. Sorry. Three yeah. things that make you happy. Three things that make me happy. Mm-hmm. I love to spend my free time with my loved ones. Like uh-huh. that makes me, you know, very relaxed because I have a very small circle. To be very honest, mm-hmm. and when I'm with that circle, I'm very happy. And secondly, making content. You know, making. just putting it out. Like, <laughs> see, I never expect anything from my content. To be very honest, there are things that doesn't work, and I have seen it in the longer drill that if you're, you know. Very much expecting from a particular content doesn't work. It doesn't, yeah, actually. So it's better to know, ha, bana ke chhod do. Does it look fun? Yeah. That's it. Uh huh. So and when it happens, then I I get very happy. Like you know, chalo it worked. It worked. And third thing would be I love to travel, yar. Like yeah. whenever I'm traveling, I'm very happy. Happy. Like, yes, because. <laughs> There are no pressure out there. You have to do this. I, I resonate with that. Yeah. Traveling is is uh, bliss. Yes. Every time and anywhere, it, it's just. So lucky if you're going with your friends and yeah. all, it's even better. True that. Okay. So, uh, see, this is what is happening. I'm losing my track of questions because he's just so good at articulating words. I told you only spontaneous, <laughs> no questions. Of course, this is, I think, by far the most nicely unscripted one that yeah. we are shooting. Okay. What is one thing that turns you off very quickly, be it with people or with professionals? Double standards. I don't mm-hmm. like double standards. Like. Mm-hmm. See, it's okay if you're not on the same page with me, mm-hmm. but stick to it. Stick to it. So if you're, you know, showing a side to me now, and I see a different side of yours in mm-hmm. the same topic and the same thing, I I get put off. Like, stick to your opinions. Let it not resonate with mine, but just be there. Don't mm-hmm. jump. Have a strong one. Yeah. If you have any. So when you play seesaw, if you come on my side, we both fall. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good side. Like. So you really like competition, which is equal level. Competition. Or I would love to be challenged more. <laughs> and you can't be on the same level, then you will be stuck. Ah. You should be challenged. And there are such good creators in the there city, are. in the country. It's so tough. <laughs> like. So, do you personally feel that collaboration should be given more promotion nowadays? Because a lot of people are individually doing really good in the hyper local market. 
mm. and you are watching them very closely some of most of them you are working with so do you feel that uh, people are growing when it comes to collaboration are they open to it or because you're a creator you belong to that community and you've seen a lot of people from different different niches so as a person who is outside and sees very fancy faces on instagram is there actual collaboration or is it that people are doing it for the sake of it see there are two things to that mm -hmm. now it is collaborations are turning into advertisements mm -hmm. and when a blogger like repeatedly does something mm -hmm. see you can promote something but everyone gets it when it's fake true you can't you know just fake genuineness i would say so what happens is when you're not doing for the sake like they're giving you some collaboration you don't have to be 100% honest to it but mm -hmm. you know you can make a good uh, way around it just highlight the good things mm -hmm. you don't have to say bad as good mm -hmm. just find out the good and promote it right so then it's you know fair enough for your you know everyone i everyone. guess everyone yeah so my approach would be to collaborations just be honest with the good part don't change the bad part into good yeah, that's not good yeah that's not good right so i have final two questions okay number one what's your superpower my camera my <laughs> phone is my superpower <laughs> yeah what else uh, everything is uh, yeah okay so your camera let's just steal rats camera yeah, still please. we will please not be able to be half close to what he does i would be happy <laughs> 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 okay. No, I think like I said, your personality translates into your content. It's Thank independent you. of any tool that you use. Thank you. The last question is, if not this, if not content creation or being in a government job, what would you be if you get to pick? I would rather I think make be a chef or something uh -huh. in some you know, <laughs> not so fancy kind of place like simple restaurant some. <laughs> no <laughs> them local types and out cook food and you know gossip with people i love gossip <laughs> i like listen to people their stories and see at the end of the day see for my thing my content is all about stories yes so i love stories i mm -hmm. love telling stories i have loved listening to stories so wherever stories are i'll be there so maybe cooking and you know That's listening to <laughs> stories would be my thing if i was not doing what that. a wonderful chef raj would make na like yeah it's story the one who has a lot of stories you have to eat it <laughs> You can skip it. I'll just stare at you till you eat. Like. Payment in stories only. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. really nice. So, anything else that you want to tell your audience? Because they, I personally, being an audience personally, I don't say this as a person who wanted to have you on board, but I want to know a lot from you because your content is always about stories and people, but very little about you, which I don't complain about because what you have to offer is beautiful. But I also want to know the person behind. So, is there anything that you want to tell people who really follow you, or probably would be watching this video? See, that's the thing. I think people, everyone wants to know, like, what is this, you know, esoteric secret he has. Huh. But it's all, it all comes down to this. You know, I think it's all very simple. Everyone is going to their job. They're doing their work. They're doing their things. So, whatever you're doing, just do it properly. That's all. It's just there's nothing to it. I'm telling you. Like, I wake up every day. I'll go to my office. Uh -huh. Then in the in the evening time, I'll find out some few hours to shoot. Mm -hmm. Then I'll get back to office, mm -hmm. and and at night I'll have dinner with my loved ones, and you know just that's it. That's it. And browse the internet. Browse the that's internet. That's all. Make really good content. Yes, yes, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Just you don't have to, you know, complex things. I remember this, you know, this designer of app. I'll just end it. Yeah, no, 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 please take your time. So I remember his two lines, which you know stays with me forever. He said that simplicity is not simple. It's about giving an order to complexity. So if you can do that, then you just mastered it. That's all. You can see this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you just repeat it for me one more time? Simplicity is all about giving an order to complexity. So you don't have to make anything complex. You just simplify it. Simplify it. That's it. That's it. It's not as simple. Let me tell you. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. His his tag would be in the in the post. You should check his page, and then you tell me if it is simple or complex. <laughs> I let my audience choose, but trust me, Raj, it was fun talking to you off camera. Same it here. was equally interesting talking to you on camera, and you're an amazing person. Thank you so much. And we were very curious to know about you, and I'm I'm sure that my audience is definitely going to know the other part of the story, the other part of the content through this video. Thank you for making time for us and thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you. And my dear audience, I'm going to see you in OCLF on 26th, 27th and 28th of November in your city. Thank you.